Hello. In this video, I'll discuss how we count mailboxes in hosted Canet and why it requires a bit of preparation to get an accurate count. First, let's review how hosted Canet works. Hosted Canet sits between the internet and your backend mail server. It takes all your email in, filters it, and passes filtered mail out to your backend server via SMTP. This means that all we can see is SMTP traffic, and all we can count are email addresses. Now, suppose mail comes in for two recipients, Robert at example.com and Bob at example.com. Your backend server may know that those two addresses are really aliases for the same user, but hosted Canet has no way to know that. It can't assume that Robert and Bob refer to the same person, so it counts them as two separate addresses. On the other hand, suppose mail comes in for a single recipient, penguinfans at example.com. If your backend mail server expands that out to a 30,000 member mailing list, we only see just the one address. Though we of course would be happy to accommodate if you wanted to count it as 30,000. So how do we reconcile the count of email addresses with the count of actual mailboxes? The answer is, give hosted Canet more information than just the addresses. In other words, give hosted Canet a way to discover aliases. The way to tell Canet that two different email addresses refer to the same mailbox is to make them share the same quarantine. In our system, each quarantine is called a stream. For example, bob at example.com and robert at example.com might both go into the bob at example.com stream. If you set this up for all of your aliases, then we can count streams instead of email addresses, which makes for a more accurate reflection of the number of mailboxes. The conversion of an email address into a stream is called streaming. There are a few different ways to do streaming, but the two most popular are as is and LDAP. With as is streaming, the stream created and used for each email address is the same as the email address itself. In other words, one stream per email address. In our example, bob at example.com and robert at example.com would go into two separate streams, each of whose names is the same as the email address. The other common method is to let Canet talk to a directory like Active Directory or any LDAP system. We'll talk about that option in a minute or so. First, let's talk some more about as is. If as is streaming mostly works for you, and you don't want to link to a directory, you need to tell Canet about aliases. You can enter explicit address to stream mappings to force email addresses into specific streams. Continuing our example, under setup address to stream mappings, you could explicitly enter the fact that robert at example.com should go into the bob at example.com stream. If your user base is relatively small and stable, and there are not too many aliases, this is a perfectly viable way to tell hosted Canon about aliases. If you have a large number of aliases, and it would be inconvenient to enter them all through the web interface at once, you can send our team a file to import. With LDAP streaming, hosted Canon makes a query to your backend LDAP or Active Directory server. Canon can then determine aliases automatically. For unusual situations such as distribution lists, you can still hand enter specific exceptions under Setup, Address to Stream Mappings. Canet has built-in settings for Active Directory and default options that work well for many other LDAP systems. In most cases, a directory like Active Directory or LDAP is the way to go. Not only does the directory provide alias information, it also means users can log in with their existing usernames and passwords. For details about setting up LDAP, please see our companion video integrating Canet with Active Directory slash LDAP. I should mention one other mechanism for dealing with aliases. The streaming techniques mentioned so far cause the aliases to share the same quarantine, but don't actually rewrite recipient addresses. For example, if you put Margaret at example.com and Peg at example.com into a single stream Peg at example.com, 
The recipient addresses are still preserved when the email emerges from Canon. Mail addressed to Margaret emerges from Canon still addressed to Margaret. Similarly, mail addressed to Peg remains addressed to Peg. In the setup menu, you will find not only address to streams mapping, but also an aliases option. What's the difference? The difference is that address to streams mapping will cause the alias addresses to share the same quarantine as the primary address, but the email will be delivered unaltered. In particular, the recipient address is not altered. If you make the mapping in the aliases section instead, then the email to margaret at example.com will not only share the same stream as peg at example.com, but the email's recipient address will actually be changed to peg at example.com as well. So to summarize, out of the box, the only information hosted Canet has is account of the email addresses being filtered. You can tell Canet about aliases in the following ways. 1. Integrate with a directory like Active Directory or any other LDAP system. This lets Canet figure out aliases automatically and also lets users log into the web interface with their normal credentials, so it's extra convenient and it's future friendly. As you add new users and aliases to your directory, Canet learns about them without you having to update anything. 2. Provide a list of aliases in Setup Address to Stream Mappings or Setup Aliases. This option is less convenient since you have to enter them manually and it's not future friendly. You'll have to keep Canon up to date as new users and aliases are added. This means that this option is more suitable for small to medium businesses with little user turnover. Finally, remember that if you can provide our team with a CSV file listing your aliases, we can import it for you to get your initial setup completed, but you will still need to manually keep Canon up to date with new aliases in the future. Thank you for watching.